It is Sens and Sabres tonight. 7 o'clock will be the game time, 5 o'clock pregame show, the debut of Corey Conacher. Okay, and you guys had some songs. I was going to say. Come we, on. We want to go down there. I Already? Will, I will say when I woke up this morning, okay, as I stumbled to the John, what popped into my head the very first thing, Steve? Oh. Yeah, the, probably the Corey Conacher song. Oh, good old Corey Conacher. He just became a senator. Score a pass from Sergey Goncher. Cause he's the leading scorer. Oh, good old Corey Conacher. You guys play the whole thing. Playing with yeah, I'm done. Kim Silverberg. I like it. Training hard with Eric Conjurer. Practicing what? breakaways on Robin Leonard. See ya later, Vincent LeCavier. And deep my shorts, Eric Brewer. Welcome to the team, Corey. Now let's see that glory. That was the longest 45 seconds of my life. That's from our buddy Pav, who we met at the Big Rig on uh, Tuesday. I find it troubling that he wants to see Corey's glory. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm That's a, <laughs> a metaphorical thing. Steve. I see. Okay, good. There's nothing literal about it. Well, you'd think that he'd let it simmer in people's brains for a for a day or two, uh, but uh, he's you know, he's like he's followed it up with a sequel already. There's an upgrade. Let's not go to it yet. Upgrade? <laughs> You're gonna save it? <laughs> Tee that bad boy up? <laughs> We're teasing that bad boy up for later. Because really, if we play the entire, Steve was like, "Hey, there's an update," so he played it for us, and he goes, "It's about 20 seconds too long," and I said, "It's Friday." It put us that much closer to the end of the show. Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta cover all your bases, right? As you, as a as a musician of the world, so he covered off uh, Kazoo on on song number one, and now he's decided what's more annoying than Kazoo's? Oh yeah, rap. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, no, it's uh, version number two of the Welcome to Ottawa, Corey Conacher song. My good old Corey Conacher. Regrettable, troubling. I'm sure it will take a few wrenches today. But it's under the, it's so bad, it's good. Well, Corey's got a little pressure on him today after Ben Bishop goes and throws <laughs> a shutout in his very first game down in Tampa. Now, Sens fans are going to be like, okay, what do you got, Corey? Oh, he only had 45 shots. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those walk-in-the-park shutouts. Oh, good old Corey oh, Conacher. I, listen, I, I literally, I woke up this morning. And that's the first thing that, po- you know how just random things come into your head? Oh, yeah. Why did that come into my head, Steve? I don't know. Oh, no. Because, you, well, you played it yesterday. Yes, a lot. You're very impressionable. I am. Anyway. All right. Uh, Corey Conacher, by the way, will debut tonight in Buffalo and uh, wear his number 89. All right. Sends and Sabres tonight. It's 5 o'clock pregame, 7 o'clock faceoff. Then they move on to play the uh, Florida Panthers on uh, Sunday. That's a late afternoon, 5 p.m. start on Sunday. And, of course, all the action here on the Team 1200. Now, speaking of uh, Corey Conacher, for those of you uh, listening yesterday, and Hammer, you weren't here because you're <clears throat> apparently ill. Um, we had our friend Pav that we met at the Big Rig at our playoff VIP experience on a Tuesday night grand prize. And uh, mm-hmm. Pav, I give him full marks. Look, the song is terrible. I think we can it's all agree. Awful. That's full marks? The... <laughs> no, I give him full marks for turning it around and spitting it out. With the speed in which he did. Right. I, I thought mean, I was sick yesterday. Yeah. Nothing compared to when I heard this song in its entirety. Is this what made you sick, actually, the Corey Conic? quite possible. Because when my he- feet hit the floor this morning out of my very warm bed, it immediately popped into my head. This <clears throat> song put together by Pav for Corey Conacher. Oh, good old Corey Conacher. He just became a senator. Score a pass from Sergey Goncher, cause he's the leading scorer. Yeah. Oh, good old Corey oh, Conacher. I love the three-part harmony. Okay, that's more than yeah. that. This song makes me want to hurt myself and others around me. Yeah. Well, uh, our good friend Pav is uh, back. Uh, Pav writes on the email, morning to team1200.com. I've decided to bless you guys and the fans with one last Corey Conacher song. I don't think the last one was the greatest hit. I might be a little tone deaf. Please don't throw wrenches at me. I'm very delicate. Friday night, we'll light up Miller. It's going to be a thriller. That's from Pav, who's followed up good old Corey Conacher with this beauty. Uh. 
Corey. 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 Welcome, number 89. Now it's time to bust a rhyme. This kid is young, but he's so frightening. Electric and fast light lightning. Doing deeks all over the ice. Gonna light up Carey Price. Ooh. Ooh. Suck. Let's all welcome the senator. Good old Corey Conacher. Good old Corey Conacher. Corey, Corey, he's the man. He's got talent. He's got hands. Corey, Corey, score a game winner. Burns through players like my wife burns dinner. Sends army. Corey Conacher, Jason Spetzer, Jakob Silverberg, I like an apple fritter, Robin Lenner, Craig Anderson. Corey came, he saw, he Conacher'd. <laughs> and there you go, courtesy of Pav. That's the follow-up to yesterday's uh, number happened? one hit, good old Corey Conacher, with... Um, the Corey Conacher rap. So you say, there you go, as though you've presented us all with a gift or something. <laughs> there you go. Just what you've well, been waiting there, for. There you go if you wanted to tr- uh, chuck a wrench on Wrench Throwing Friday and you were struggling it's like I, who to throw a wrench at. It's like I have death in my ears right now. Oh, good old Corey Conacher. Oh. I'm go. chucking a wrench. That's good. I'm telling you right now, it was. it's in my head. It was in my head when I woke up this morning. All I could hear was... Good old Corey Conacher. Well, that's just an addled brain. That's all that is. Good old Corey Conacher. I got to say, the last one is somewhat reminiscent of many of the segments on this show. It went in a lot of different directions in a very short period of time. There was talk of wives burning dinners. There was some sort of attempt at uh, rhyming Anderson with Conacher. I think there was a burp in there as well. There was a long belch for no apparent reason. Uh, so it had uh, some disparate parts to it, I think it's fair to say. Why are we analyzing <laughs> nonsense? <laughs> terrible, well, a, terrible nonsense. I'm a big fan of nonsense. Here's the post-game show on the nonsense. Listen again, anything that gets us that much closer to the end of the show on the Friday is always in I think we need a Warnsy Conacher song. Well, That's what yeah. we need. We'll get one of those in about six months. No. That's the reason, Steve, that we're no. playing these songs from listeners, is that you've abdicated your responsibility My throne? as the singer-songwriter of the show. Your production values and production period has been found wanting for lo these many months, nay years. I mean years. I did I did a Rangers Senator playoff song. That's some harsh criticism right it there. It is. Exactly. Cuts right to the bone. There's no question that's an earworm, though. The earworm I had the other day, and this speaks to how addled our brains are, it, the old dentist commercial, Murphy the Molar. Remember the Murphy the Molar song? No, I don't. I'll find that for you. It's really annoying. Oh, good old Corey Conacher. That's not it. I want, let's let's send that to the Senator's DJ guy, at Senator's DJ. Alex. Tweet him that. Get him, so, to, get him to play that if he scores a goal in the next home game. Would it not be Glenn Gower's decision, though? No, no, cut right, go, go right to the guy that plays it. You do have to usually nope. pass things through Glenn. De- never mind. Leave Gower out of it. <laughs> this is our decision. Listen, we're trying to bump up the atmosphere at the bank. There's nothing going to be better than this old, than this beauty. Oh, good old Corey huh? Conacher. Can you imagine he puts the puck in the net and then they, 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 they come out with that bad boy? Yeah, the yeah. fans singing along. It'd be like one of those British soccer games where they all got their own songs. If I'm Corey Conacher, I might not want to score goals. If no, that's no. going to be my goal song. He likes it. He, let's send it to Conacher, too. Send it to him, too, while we're at it. There'll be lots of fights in that game, I bet. Once the players hear that. Even some of the passive players will be brawling. They'll want to go to war. Oh, yeah. All right, 845. We'll take a break. Dean Roberts standing by with the update. Uh, Sens and Sabres tonight. Get you ready for that. And, of course, Habs win. Leafs lose. Sens are back in fifth place, technically, as of this morning. All right, welcome back. 852. Friday edition of the show. Sports Radio, the Team 1200. A couple of quick notes here. Actually, let's get to Paul first. They're hanging on to the phones. Hey, Paul, welcome to the Team 1200. How are you? Boys, how are you? Good, Paulie. Uh, JR, I'm not sure if you're on the show four or five years ago, but Steve continued to play the first ever recording of an LP, and it was a French lady singing a song. Steve, do you remember that? Yep, it was uh, Eau Claire de Lune, and it was the very, she was singing that song like in the mid-1800s, and it was recorded yeah. on, recorded on yeah. paper. Yeah, so now uh, you forced me to possibly end my life by playing uh, that Conacher song. Yeah. It rivals Tanta Gupta, rivals Tony Gabriel, 
and that first ever reported LP. So rivals them it, in what in what way? And it's and it's uh, so bad it's, it's goodness. It, it's right up there with classics that yeah. that will you know make people want to end their lives by listening to it. So right, I'd like to I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. It may possibly be the last phone call I ever make. <laughs> oh well, we don't take it to that extent, please. So you'd like you'd like a wrench. I would love a wrench. All right. Wrench the Corey Conacher, please. Good old Corey Conacher. I don't know if that's actually appropriate for the Corey Conacher wrench, uh, you know, wrench to actually be the Corey Conacher song, because that's what they're asking for—that it not be played anymore. Anyway. 